Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times Crossword for Tuesday, December 28th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. One across. Pequency. That means something's pleasantly flavorful. Um, hmm, I wonder if it's zest? Let's see if that works. Let's try and build off of it. Evasive maneuver? That could be a zag, maybe. Slip up? That could be air, yeah. Zest is looking really good so far. Shoe named after a dagger. Hmm, I wonder if that's a stiletto? Like a stiletto heel? Yeah, that's a kind of dagger too, right? Slip up in writing? That's gotta be a typo. I'm guilty of making those all the time on crossword grids. All right, it looks like we have some of these acrosses filled in. Let's look at these just to make sure we got them correct. Pretentious in a painterly way? That could be arty, yeah. Racket handle is a grip, yeah, like on a tennis racket. All right, let's take a look at this first along a cross here. This is most likely our first theme answer. Food topping used at Abe Lincoln's birthplace. And this is wordplay that's indicated by the question mark here. So in addition to being a theme answer, this is going to be a punny answer for this clue. So we're going to have to think of something punny that relates to Abraham Lincoln. Hmm, well, I mean, the story was that he was born in a log cabin, right? This L-O makes me think of a log cabin. Um, hmm, food topping. Is there a brand of maple syrup called log cabin syrup? Is that right? Log cabin syrup. That would fit, wouldn't it? Hmm. Actually, I don't know if it's real maple syrup. It might just be corn syrup. But yeah, let's try it. Let's put that in. Log cabin syrup. That's interesting. Let's try and build off of that and see if we got that correct. 4.0 for a valedictorian, maybe. That's a very good GPA. If you have a 4.0, you have a very good shot at becoming valedictorian. Okay, where Michelle Obama was born. I'm pretty sure she was born in Chicago, wasn't she? That fits pretty nicely. Dance named after Cuba's capital. Hmm, is it gonna be Havana something? I don't know how it's gonna end. Havana, hmm. Let's get some more crossing help on that one. Prized mount. Could that be an Arab? There's an Arab kind of a horse, right? Come to an end. Hmm, there's a lot of ways of saying something's gonna end. Let's look at the acrosses here. British fellow could be a chap. March blank, Lewis Carroll character. Lewis Carroll wrote the Alice in Wonderland books. So I think this is going to be the March Hare. Letter-shaped bridge support. I guess it's going to be an eye bar. It looks like it has to be. Although this would give us H-A-B instead of H-A-V. Hmm. I guess it's still possible. What's this short across here? Wash for gold. Yeah, that should be pan. Hmm. I guess this could be perish. This could be about something dying. Yeah. Drunkard? Another word for a drunkard is a sot. They're besotted. Stein filler? You fill a stein with ale, right? It's a funny clue to fill in after we had our sot here. Blank of the apostles? Um, I don't know what this is. This is some kind of biblical thing. Is it acts of the apostles? Is this a T here? Lug around. Yeah, that could be tote. Rant and rage. Hmm. Is it storm? I'm not sure about that. Heist hall. Well, that should be loot, right? Maybe it is storm. And then let's see if we could put a C here. 
dairy product used at the seven dwarfs dwelling. Okay, this is kind of formatted in the same way that our first theme answer was. It's going to be some kind of food item that can be punnily tied to the characters in the clue. Um, hmm, what is it gonna be? And they're about dwellings, both of them too. Log cabin, hmm. What is this gonna be? Is this gonna be about the seven dwarfs dwelling also? Dairy product. Hmm. Oh, you know what? We wanted this to be a C, right? It's starting to look like cottage in that case. Maybe it's cottage cheese, yeah. Excellent, okay. Yeah, so it looks like we have everyday food items that are kind of clued punnily to be a reference to the dwelling of a certain person or certain characters, yeah. We have Abe Lincoln and the Seven Dwarfs so far. All right. Rejections is going to be no's, plural, because they're asking for rejections, plural. Groups of grapes, e.g. Hmm, so groups of grapes are an example of this. Hmm. It's not bunches. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Word in many cathedral names. I guess that could be holy, just looking at that Y there. Main course. That's got to be the entree. Injection at a hospital. I wonder if that's serum. That U is making it look like it's going to be serum. Ambulance letters could be EMT. Emergency medical technician. Pitfalls. Hmm, you know what? I wonder if this is gonna be EMS instead. Emergency medical service. Because pitfalls is plural, so this answer needs to be plural too. Yeah, I wonder if this is traps. Let's see if that's right. Treasure holder should be a chest, yeah. Recluse could be a loner. Extremely, it's looking like ultra. Okay, so groups of grapes could be an example of clusters. We were pretty close with our bunches guess, yeah. Sellout indicator, this is a very crosswordy answer. This is standing room only. You might see that on a sign outside of a theater that has sold out. Okay, enjoys a long hot bath say, that's gotta be soaks. All right, let's go over to the center here. Is it the habanero dance? Is there a dance called the habanero? Is the pepper named after Havana too? I don't think I ever knew that. Habanero, let's see if that's right. Tulsa school. And because there's an abbreviation in the clue, that means our answer is gonna be abbreviated as well. Um, Tulsa is in Oklahoma. So I'm actually thinking that it's probably gonna be Oklahoma State University, and maybe this is not habanero. It's gotta be something else. Yeah, I'm glad we checked that there. Raised to the third power. I guess we're talking about mathematics here. That's gonna be cubed. What is this across? Good Morning America Network. I think that's on ABC, isn't it? Habanesa, I mean, that looks plausible enough. I don't think it can be NBC. That would give us SN at the end. Pottery maker. Hmm. Is that gonna be a ceramist? Is that a word? <laughs> Somebody that makes ceramics? Let's see if we can confirm that. Always in poems. Yeah, in poet speak you can say air, right? When you mean ever, that's another word that could mean always. Okay, maybe it is ceramist. Earth in science fiction, that could be Terra. Yeah, I know I've heard the Terran Empire in Mirror Universe Star Trek episodes, and in StarCraft one of the factions is called the Terrans too, right? Okay, old TVs, the adventure of blank Tintin. Um, is it gonna be Rin Tintin? I know I've heard that name before. Hmm, 
You know what? It looks like we got to our next theme answer. Let's take a look at that. So there should be another food item that has a location in it. Turkey stuffing used at the Ewing's South Fork. Uh-oh, I don't know what this is referring to. Ewing's South Fork. Hmm, we're going to need to get some help with this one. Yeah, let's start on these downs here. Vulcan's telepathic link. Speaking of Star Trek, that's funny. All right, that's called a mind meld. Yeah, Spock was doing that all the time on the original series. Okay. March Madness Org, that's college basketball, so that'll be the NCAA. Okay. Calendar block, I guess that's just a day. That's a block on a calendar. Mythical Greek monsters. Well, that Y is making me think of a Hydra. It could be Hydras, plural, because they're asking for monsters, plural. Hmm, this is starting to look like ranch dressing, right? Yeah, so I guess the Ewing's South Fork must be a ranch? I wonder what that's in reference to. Hopefully the goose can let us know. All right, so it's gonna be ranch dressing. Let's finish off this section while we're here. Took notice. Hmm, I'm not sure what this is gonna be. It's not saw. Vegetable whose name is also slang for money. That's kale, yeah, you wanna have a lot of kale, both kinds of kale. Okay, wrist elbow connector, that's the ulna. That's a bone in your arm. Clothes holders on a clothesline. I think you hold up clothes with pegs on a clothesline, yeah. Took notice, is this sat up? I guess that's another way for saying took notice, yeah. And it is in the past tense because our clue is in the past tense here. What's this long down? Bad situation for an airplane. I guess that would be a tailspin, yeah. It's a very bad situation. Okay, we have a loss here, Las Palmas, city in the Canary Islands. I think maybe I've heard of this, I'm not sure. It sounds okay though. Zoom or TikTok? Both of those are apps, but since it's asking for one or the other, we just answer app in the singular here. Ooh, it looks like this is the revealer here. Interesting, okay. Let's get this one filled in and then we'll take a look at it. Expresses sorrow for one's wrongdoing. Maybe that's going to be repents? All right, let's take a peek at this revealer. Spreads using 20, 28, and 48 across. Spreads, hmm. And this is more wordplay. That's very interesting. I wonder if this is going to be yet another food that has a place name in it. Hmm, it almost looks like it could end in menus. I wonder. Destination for a rest cure. That should be a spa, I think. So maybe it's meals instead. Is it homemade meals? <laughs> because each one of these has someone's home at the beginning. That is really funny. That's a great pun. What a fun punny theme here. All right, let's put in homemade meals. That's very creative. All right, let's see if we can build off of this revealer here. USA, USA, EG. That would be an example of a chant. Being named valedictorian for one. Well, that would be an honor, right? Are we talking about the same valedictorian up here? I'm sure they would consider that an honor. Okay, jettison? Hmm, I wonder what is this gonna be? Jettison, is it remove? Yeah, maybe. Let's see if that's right. Michael of SNL, yeah, that's Michael Che, right? He's on Weekend Update. Okay, jumper cable connection. You would want to connect that to the anode of your battery, right? Candidate for a Booker Prize? Would that be a novel? I've heard of the Booker Prize, but I don't know much beyond that. Okay, lead into line or setter. Is that gonna be trend line, trend setter? Yeah, and then that gives us Eden, heaven on earth. That sounds good. 
simplicity is that ease make it blank make it rain yeah helper abbreviated that's going to be an assistant abbreviated does as the sun does in the evening that has to be sets yeah so it is ease okay frolic hmm is that going to be a lope what is that going to be big lugs no that should be apes right they're kind of like big, rough, aggressive guys. Okay. Capital of Latvia. Hmm. I don't know if I know this. Let's look at this last one here. Kentucky's Fort Blank. Isn't that Fort Knox? That's where they keep all the gold, right? Let's look at these downs. Instrument in most jazz combos. That has to be a sax. Narcissist's flaw is ego, I would guess, yeah. Is this Riga? I think I have seen that before. And then a frolic is a lark, yes. A flight of fancy. All right, let's see if that R does it for us. Oh, crumbs, we have a square wrong. All right, let me see if I can track this down and I'll come back to you when I find it. Ooh, that was a tricky square we had wrong. All right, we solved the Tuesday puzzle in 23 minutes. Not too bad, but the mistake at the end cost us a few minutes. It ended up being this square here. It was Habanera and ORU. It wasn't Oklahoma State University. I'm not sure what school this is, actually. I don't really recognize these letters. Hopefully the goose can let us know what school this is. Yeah, this was a tricky mistake to see because I'd never really seen this dance before. And because this wasn't a V, it was a B, it seemed plausible enough that this could be an S. Yeah, that was really the only dicey cross in the puzzle. I'd be interested to hear if this square trip you up also. Yeah, leave me a comment below and let me know if you fell into this trap just like I did. But other than this kind of nasty cross here, I really liked this puzzle. This theme was really fun. Yeah, our themers are all homemade meals. We had log cabin syrup, cottage cheese, and ranch dressing. They found three foods that have places to live as part of their names. That's a very cool thing to have noticed about these three food items. I think in order to make this theme work, they had to use a lot of three-letter answers in the middle here. You can see these big stacks of three-letter answers. Um, and I think maybe that is the cause of this kind of suboptimal cross here. But still, overall, I liked the theme so much, even though this kind of caused us a lot of trouble. I think it was probably worth it just because this theme was so creative. I also really liked a lot of the long downs. Stiletto is really cool. I absolutely loved Mind Meld, and that being next to Terra felt very appropriate. Tailspin is also nice, yeah. Even Ceramist is kind of interesting. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed solving that homemade meal of a Tuesday puzzle along with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle, and I think that's going to do it for now. Alright, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.